left Sky without knowing whether the magic of the fairy dust has freed him from Diaspro's spell. Bloom's questions must wait because new danger lies ahead. The best way to counter a sound wave attack is to transform yourself into an earless monkey fish. Awesome! <laughs> Dismissed. Glad you kept the sideburns, Professor. What's that? I, I, I can't hear you. How are you feeling? Totally stressed out. Aww. I haven't heard a word from Brandon since we left him on Arachleon. Ugh, we should have stayed behind to help him fight those guards. Hey, guys. Anyone want to dance? I'm sure Brandon can take care of himself. I'm more worried about you. You know, I think we all need to chill after what we've been through. Flora, <laughs> I've got this. What's more relaxing than herbal tea? If you take a closer look, we should be celebrating, not stressing. Guys, Stella broke the spell Diaspro put on Sky. We don't know that for sure, Tecna. We didn't stick around long enough to see whether or not it worked. And we definitely can't go back to find out. Those guards won't let us anywhere near the place. Yeah, after our last visit to the palace, we're not exactly on the VIP guest list. <laughs> well, if I get any updated feeds from Arachleon, I'll let you know. Just remember, the mark of Valtor disappeared from Sky's shoulder. So sit back, drink your tea, and relax. Huh? Well, looks like Kiko beat me to it. <laughs> Andros, the water planet, and every drop of it under my supreme command. No wonder I feel all washed up. I think it's time we move to a place where the roof isn't leaking 24-7. We need to move up in the world, to a different world. Any suggestions? We could take over Lord Darkar's old hideout. And live underground? I don't do basement apartments. I agree. We need a high floor, with a nice view. I know the perfect place, full of old world charm and powerful spells. How about the Cloud Tower Castle? Hmm, the school for witches. That could work very nicely. <laughs> but it's defended by a spell that protects it from dark magic, so we definitely need to rewire. It already feels like home for us. <laughs> yeah, except for the fact that Miss Griffin won't be putting out the welcome mat. My old friend Miss Griffin. We go way back. I have an old score to settle with her. And yes, it's a long story. I'll have to tell you one day. And let's just say no one lived happily ever after. But who says the story can't be rewritten? Miss Griffin's about to have some permanent house guests. <laughs> Maybe you and your friends should be. What's happening? Who are you? What are you doing here? <sighs> A protection spell has its own rules. And the first rule is never open the door to your enemy. Once you invite him in, the magic is forever broken. A good-hearted witch is doomed to be defeated. 
Learn your lesson, sweet witches. And next time you see a fawn, be a wolf. Hmm? <clears throat> <gasps> nice to see you again, old friend. It's been way too long. How dare you call me your friend? <laughs> Don't try to use your magic against me, Griffin. It's useless. During my exile in the Omega Dimension, I became stronger and more powerful than ever. This is my school, Valtor. Get out of here! <laughs> Sorry, Griffin, but I give the orders at Cloud Tower now. <gasps> what are they doing here? Yeah. The tricks! What are you doing here? Each one of you is expelled. Let's just say we pulled some strings to get back in. Valtor! Griffin is my prisoner. I'm your new headmaster. And I do mean master. <gasps> and I'm going to give all my new students a mark. The mark of Valtor! Cloud Tower and its magic secrets are all mine now. And the taste of victory is sweet. You will pay for this, Valtor. And you three traitors will get what you deserve. Yeah, like total control of this school and you in prison. They're traitors just like you were, Griffin. That's not true. Oh, really? Weren't we once fighting side by side under the command of the three ancestors, the mothers of all witches? Together, we studied the dark arts so we could rule with fear. We were going to conquer all the realms of the magical universe. Well, that is, of course, until you decided to turn on me. To join our worst enemies, the Company of Light. The same enemies who would later defeat me. I have no regrets. I followed my conscience and tried to make up for past mistakes. Your only mistake was betraying me, and for that you will be locked away for eternity. You are the first to fall, but not the last. Now I'm going after the others, and I won't stop until the entire Company of Light has been extinguished forever. Whiskers didn't forecast a storm, and those clouds have a dark look to them. I'd better activate the protective shield. <gasps> look! Don't oh, no. worry, girls. Uh, uh. The protective shield will keep out the rain, and any dark spells. This was no ordinary storm. <gasps> Look what's falling from the sky! Whoa, I've heard of raining cats and dogs, but raining witches? Miss Faragunda... I was right. The lightning is bewitched. I know Valtor's behind us. That brand is his signature. Go round up the girls. Tell them we're on high alert and this is not a drill. Oh! Paragonda! I need you both to gather the fairies and wait for my signal. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Valtor! We meet again, Faragonda. But what do you know? This time, your friends from the Company of Light aren't here to back you up. You've bewitched the girls from Cloud Tower! I am often told how bewitching I am. And with the witch's help, I'm going to take your powerful formulas and the secret spells of Althea and use them to become what I once was. The most powerful sorcerer in the magical universe! Not on my watch! And not under my roof! Or over it! <gasps> I've never seen Miss Faragonda fight like that before. Well, it's about time someone showed him who's boss. It's been a blast, Faragonda. Thanks for everything.
<laughs> you never would have let anybody defeat you. You're losing your touch, Farragonda. <laughs> Griffin has fallen, and now you are going down too! Griffin will rise again, and I'll stand by her! Let's teach these witches that they can't drop in without an invitation! Magic Sweet! Stella, we can't just let her fight Valtor alone. We have to defend Althea. Miss Farragonda can handle Valtor. <gasps> ah! <gasps> what? What do you think happened? <laughs> he finished her off, just like we're gonna do to you. Don't scatter, girls. Stay close together and remember who you are. You are fairies, and fairies don't fear witches. <clears throat> you girls follow Palladium. Spread out along the school perimeter. We're going to create a new protective shield. Let's go! All right. The rest of us will defend the Hall of Enchantments. Remember, we must keep the witches from stealing our spells at any cost. If we lose our magic, we lose Althea, and we'll never get it back. Magic flow, go spread and glow. Send darkness back, repel attack. Evil detect, and fairies protect! Now energize! Another shield! <laughs> Been there, seen that. And it won't keep us out. Yay! Everybody, hold your positions. We are not finished yet. We must all continue to strengthen the protective shield if we want to keep the witches at bay. Lucy! Oh, no! The attack on the shield will keep those no-good, pathetic fairies busy. While we steal their magic secrets and spells, they won't know what hit them. The shield is holding. Nicely done, girls. <laughs> okay, girls, let's divide into two groups and patrol the inside of the school. We can't let the witches reach the Hall of Enchantments. We'll take the right wing, you go left. And while you do that, Aisha and I will make sure the protective shield is holding. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that? Let's go check it out. What was that? How'd the tricks make it past our defenses? Catching a fairy is so easy. Ugh, I'm already bored. I, Galatea, Princess of Melody, order you to surrender now! Ooh, royalty! I'm so honored! Should we curtsy? Don't bother. My sound sphere will be knocking you off your feet! Yeah! <gasps> <gasps> We've had a ball, but this party's over. The only 
place you're going is the Hall of Enchantments. Oh, Unless dear. you want to become an ice princess, you'll do the right thing and show us where it is. No sign of witches here. What's that light? Is that a fairy? That's Galatea. But I sense something strange. Wait, I sense it too. It's like a vibration. It's almost as if someone's calling. All the ancient secrets of Althea will soon be ours. The little princess was wise to cooperate with us. She was outmatched. <laughs> this is it. Hmm, finally. <laughs> I hear it clearly now. It's Galatea. She's emitting ultra-low frequency mental waves as an emergency means of communication, just like we use on Melody. She's in danger. The tricks have captured her, and they're here, in the school. All the spells we need to rule are in this room. You can feel the magic, like it's alive. Let me see that. <gasps> Watch out! Ah! Oh! Oh! Uh. I do mean that literally. <laughs> no! My wings! Ugh, you deserve it. Never trick a trick. <laughs> Leave her alone. Oh, there you are, wings. You've arrived just in time for my little ice storm. Sorry for the chilly reception. <laughs> Watch out! If you like to read a lot of books, then here, check these out. Glitterize! Princess, it's me, Musa. Remember me? I'm from Melody, too. Don't worry, Galatea. I've got your back. Let's finish them off! It's not over huh? yet. If you want to fight fire with fire, that's fine with me. Don't do it, Darcy! Burn! Burn! <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll try to smother the flames with a whirlpool of wet leaves! It's no use! There's dark magic in the fire! I'll use reverse dragon power! Fire, come to me! Uh, the witch's fire is more powerful than we are! We need to get out of here fast! Come on! Move it out! This way, hurry! Galatea! You're going the wrong way! The secret spell codes! We have to save them! I don't want my wings to have been lost in vain! Princess Galatea! You said go! <coughs> I can't breathe through this smoke. Leave me here. Run! No! No way! <gasps> huh? What's happening?
too. A dark spell took your wings, the fairy dust will restore them. My wings! Thank you so <laughs> much, Musa. <laughs> to the Enchantix level. It happened just like Farragonda said. By sacrificing yourself to save Galatea, you earned your new powers. You're rocking those new wings, Musa. Looks like they were made for you. Oh, you brave girls. You saved all the books in the library. They're one of a kind, handwritten by fairies and wizards of old. If they'd been lost, they could never have been replaced. So, thank you. I also want to thank you. Without your help, the tricks would have taken our spells. And we know what would have happened if Valtor got his hands on them. I'm sure he'll keep trying. The tricks, too. But after we beat them today, maybe they'll think twice before they come back. We all have a lot to be proud of today, but let's not forget, our dear headmistress is still missing. Well then, I guess we know what our next mission is going to be. Find Farragonda, no matter where she is and no matter what it takes. The Winks are looking for Farragonda, who has vanished in the Forest of Gloomywood. What happened to the headmistress of Althea? All the clues lead to Cloud Tower, where a tough battle awaits the Winks. We used to be here.